All right, we're out on Beaver Lake this morning and uh, we're fishing some pole timber. And um, I like to get into pole timber and just uh, fish straight down vertically with uh, two jigs, preferably. I put an eighth ounce on the top and I put a sixteenth ounce on the bottom. And a lot of times the big tall stuff that's sticking out of water will produce, but I like the stuff that's just barely under the water. And I really like to fish this when the water temperature is from around 50, 45 to 55 degrees. Uh, there's just something about that 45 and 50 that these fish will get a little bit more aggressive and they'll come up and hit these uh, baits just right down. I just fish about 12 feet deep, 10, 12 feet deep on my line and I just set it right straight down. I just use six pound test line on just any kind of reel that makes it everything and I just lift them straight up from there. On the uh, colors of the uh, lures that I select when I'm fishing the pole timber, a lot of times in the winter time, the fall of the year, of course you're green and black and you saw a truce and black and, and that are, are a lot of colors that everybody uses and we all use. But I also keep in mind that these fish like to feed on the shad. I mean, that's all they got this time of year is the shad. So I always have a shad color combination to go with the black and the greens as well. So, uh, and if I don't uh, do the black and the green, uh, I'll go with the, the more of like a, a, a shad pattern with like a blue ice or something like that on the others. There. You don't want to flop around too much. That can come off the 16th ounce Moglo head, chartreuse head with a black and uh, green tail. And this is a minnow minder.